Hey guys, Jason here from Box Programming. Today I'm going to take you through a specific upper body warm up that has multiple components to it. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, for this warm up we're going to need a barbell, a foam roller, a mini band, and a band, a little bit heavier band hanging from your pull up rig. The first movement in this series is a bent over row. So we're going to keep our chest over the bar, head is neutral, and we're going to row into the sternum. Notice that she's using a pronated grip with this movement. Okay, this is going to help activate the upper back. From here, we're going to go to our second movement, which is the push press. So we're going to get the bar into the front rack position, initiate the movement with a vertical dip and drive. From here, she's going to go to a barbell curl. So she's going to adjust her grip to a supinated grip and then perform six barbell curls. Okay guys, after she's completed her barbell movement, she's going to grab her mini band. From here, we're going to activate the upper back by performing 25 banded pull-aparts. Notice that there's tension on the band at all times and the range of motion is relatively small with these. From here, she's going to grab her foam roller and we're going to include some mobility in this warm up by mobilizing the lats. So she's going to lie on her side, keeping her arm straight, thumb up, completing 10 passes on each lat. A lot of your athletes will have a lot of trouble with this because it will be quite painful for them, but go through these nice and slow and make sure that we're getting good mobilization. All right guys, we're going to transition from foam rolling the lats to 10 thoracic rotations on each side. So Danny's going to sit on her heels, putting her hand behind her head, and then basically bringing her elbow to the ceiling. Your athlete should feel this in their mid back and this is going to help mobilize the thoracic spine. Okay guys, so everything you just saw you're going to go through for two complete rounds. After you've completed two rounds of everything we listed, we're going to end with some shoulder and lat mobilization. So we're going to have a band on the pull-up rig and you're going to have your athletes put their hand into the band, wrapping it around their wrist like a wristwatch. From here, we're going to start by using the first stretch, which is going to be elbow at 90 degrees, keeping the elbow nice and tight to the head. Okay, we want to make sure that the elbow doesn't track too far away from their midline. It should stay nice and tight. So this is the first stretch in the series. From here, we're going to take a small step back and we're going to lock our arm out like we're locking out an overhead press. All right, and then the third stretch in the series, we're going to turn around and stretch the lat. So we're going to let the band pull us forward. We're going to sink our head lower than the band. So this stretch is great for mobilizing the front deltoid as well as the lats. We're going to hold each position for about 20 to 30 seconds and then switch sides. 